All right, let's talk a little bit about the Phantasma Prime after the level cap. This is the build I was using. Kind of expensive when you think about the Prime mods, but yeah, the ribbon is good, but not like something completely out of this world. God roll. I think it's just good. It's giving me around, I would say, 30 to 40 procs more per magazine, something like that. So there was a suggestion about electricity. This was kind of the best thing I could do with ele electricity. Unfortunately, I don't have enough space. Well, I actually can. Will it? I have a bunch of these builds. I don't even remember what they are, but I can just slap in a deforma and make it work. Okay. So, vigilante supplies there uh, instead of the. If you don't have the primed shotgun ammo mutation, you're gonna have to go with something for your ammo. Okay. Uh, I forgot how to type. <laughs> I'm not sure how much does this gives. Okay, just level it on the relay. That's gonna be 50% of the ammo pickups on a normal shotgun ammo mutation. You can opt for Vigilante Supplies. It's gonna be 30%, it's way less, but you get a 5% chance of enhancing your criticals. Yeah, that's what you have to think about it. Um, I'm already thinking about making the cheaper build which i'm gonna be doing later but that this is just a show so i didn't have like uh the couldn't it had the biggest creativity to make the, the electricity build i think this is probably the best one of the best i can do while uh actually not going with critical because if i were to put in critical on this weapon then it could potentially deal much more damage. Let's say we trade uh, what was there. We could trade... Oh, I don't even remember. My god. Okay, we could trade prime point blank for a critical damage mod. Let's say primed ravage. But of course, I would need Arcane Avenger or the Adarza Kavat, which, yeah, would trading point blank would make it better. But still, it deals big damage, and there's no doubt that it would be amazing. Uh, now that I've changed to Gokstead after, you can see the... It's even hard to see how much damage I'm getting, because, yeah, 590... That is really good. And also, yeah, considering they're dying so fast, it really might be, might just be better than us. Might be. And the AoE is also pretty good. Nice. Let's see, let's put all the damage. And we don't even have, oh my god. We don't even, uh, I wasn't supposed to armor ship. We don't, I was gonna say we don't even have viral there. If we had viral, it would be a whole different level. Okay. Much more than a. Oh my god! I'm gonna say this is much more than it needs. Another great thing that I'm kind of had <laughs> was not the best was to keep up arcane, the arcane primary deadhead, because electricity cannot actually. If it's a headshot, the proc can trigger from a deadhead or a deadhead or thing. So Even with armor, it's hard. Okay, that. Mm, didn't even show. Mm -mm. Yeah, but it's over a million, so it's pretty amazing. If we were to prime, it would definitely get the level cap. One of the sad things is that I really forgot to use the charged or the secondary fire on the run. I was supposed to do a uh, 
went around just stats that I completely forgot. It was actually a kind of a stressful day that day. But... Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. Let's say you are having ammo issues. Uh, another thing you can do to further help with that is to actually use a scavenger mod. Whoa. <laughs> really, whoa. When did you ever saw a... <laughs> someone making a build with one of these, right? But really, this build is made to burn through ammo, so... It, it just goes. If I was using Revenant, the magazine would be a little bit bigger. It is like 15 shots, or something like that. If we use the... Yeah, 37 ammo, 20 ammo. And we're not even using the primed version, so it's pretty, pretty good. We have the the aura. Pretty good. Let's try to make this a cheap build now. Just gonna take this one. Let's make a build without fancy stuff. I would say that at least the arcanes uh, would be really good to have, so... Let's go with some... Let's make the heat build. Heat. These three are no problem. Shouldn't be a problem getting. Some more status chance. Normal savvy. Let's see. A Bane would be amazing. Since it heat has the heat inherit mechanic. Don't I have a Bane? Oh, it's not called Bane. Uh, Grenier. Not on Axelus. Duh. Grenier. Would be the normal clan's Grenier. I think it would be would still perform pretty fine, even without that. Shotgun Sammy. We need some multi shots. Hell's Chamber. Let's see. You could use Vigilante Armament if you have the slots. I'm still going without critical, but if we were going for critical, Ravage or Prime Ravage would be uh, really good. Let's see, I think other than this, trying to see if there's something else to use. But I think probably point blank would be the way to go. I would go with point blank, but if since I don't have it, prime point blank should be the way to go. And it's pretty scuffed because I don't have the the bane. I don't have the, the bane level. Oh, I forgot fire rate. Yeah. Forgot fire rate. Instead of maybe vigilante, you could put how was the shotgun barrage? That's how it's called now. Uh yeah. Doubles. Almost doubles it. And for the warframe you could use Arcane Temple if you have. Uh it shouldn't be a very expensive arcane, I think. Even though it says on critical hit and we're not getting many critical hits, uh, critical hits from other sources will still trigger the arcane, so we don't have a that big of a problem getting it. Also, eventually you're gonna get a uh, proc. I'm not even using it here, but yeah. Let's see, armor target would die, but it wouldn't be the ideal. Deadhead is is something. Uh, it's really personal preference. You're gonna get the highest amount of damage by using that head, but that head can be tricky to proc. You really can. Let's see. Let's try to make something else. Maybe. Uh, let's make something like a corrosive. I'm just thinking about that. There was a comment talking about the whole uh, how to make cheap builds. So I'm trying to go for that. Should we keep blaze or scattering? Let's do this. 
Build corrosive, radiation, and heat. Should work very nice. Kinda. There might be, might be too much. There might be too much corrosive. Maybe if it was viral. Who knows? Of course, the ideal would be to armor ship, but yeah. Let's see what I, if I can take something else. Barrage, Savvy. Uh, yeah. It's hard. Let's put in Viral just to see. Kill them again. Get them back up. Yeah. The pure heat will deal... Still did most amount of damage on armored targets, but it's still a pretty, pretty. It's gonna be decent for the star chart. If we're starting on steel bath, then it's gonna be a little bit harder. Then you should, by the time you get to steel bath, you should be getting the galvanized mods and the prime mods and start building something better. But it isn't all bad. It's kind of what I would. Uh, I would do for a cheap build for the star chart. Yeah. Really, the heat inherit or just heat one and also the electric one, I think they work amazing. It's really just a shame I haven't, <laughs> haven't used it. The secondary fire. Look at the damage here. It's just really good. Even if it got a dead head stack. Wow. The only issue, even though electricity is good for Deadhead, is the beam kind of dances around, so it might be a little bit harder to get. Yeah. But, really strong weapon. I recommend it. Recommend it to you. For you to, to give it a try and just play around a bit can deal massive amounts of damage if built right yeah even though you think about the phantasm prime leave it a like and consider subscribing <laughs>